Hi everyone, this is Florian from the WYSIMM team. I hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll talk about OEM config. If you don't know what a managed config is, I invite you to check our video on the topic. The link is here or here, I never remember. Once done, just go back here. So an OEM config is a way to configure an OEM, whether it's a Zebra or a Honeywell or a Samsung or whatever. So in the old world, what you had to do was to create an agent, so an application running on a device. You had to use the SDK of the OEM if you wanted to make some specific configuration on a device. So now this is done. What you have to do is just to load the right OEM config app from Google Play and directly from WYSIMM, you can configure your devices very easily. If you don't know how to do that, I will show you on the screen. Are you ready? Let's go. So we are here on the WYSIMM dashboard. The first thing we, we will do is to go on the public Google Play Store. Let's try to look for OEM config applications. So when you type OEM config and you click enter or you click the icon here, you will see all the OEM config application from every OEM. There is one for Zebra. There is one for um, Datalogic. If you want to look for the one for Honeywell devices, it's here and it's named UEM Connect. So just for Honeywell devices, it's better to type uh, UEM Connect to find the applications, like here. And I just mistyped it, UEM Connect, here we go. And for Samsung, the name is Nox Service Plugin. And it should be the first one, yes, it's here. Please um, keep in mind that we have an advanced integration for Samsung devices. So when you go in the configuration and advanced part, and if you toggle the show Samsung switch here, we will automatically whitelist the Samsung NOC service plugin application for you. So you don't have to do that. But for the other OEM config applications, you have to manually select them from the Google Play Store. Once you have selected your application, you would have to add it to your profile. So let's head to the profile now. Let's open the profile here. You go in the applications part and we will select the Zebra OEM config application. Here we go. We add it to the profile. Then we will open the managed configuration of the application. It should be on second page. It's here. So you click on the configuration link there and you will see the Zebra OEM config. The Zebra OEM config is a little bit different from the other ones. You have to create multiple transaction steps. So the idea here is when you want to configure a specific setting, you will create a dedicated transaction step for that. It will be easier after to troubleshoot if you have a step which cannot be applied on a device. So let's add a step which will name um, update font size. A good rule of thumb here is always to add an explanation in the first setting because it will make easier to keep track of what setting you are going to modify. For that, um, I will go in the display configuration section and in the bottom, in the set font size, I will select the largest option. I just have to click submit and then I will click save and automatically this configuration will be pushed to all the devices with this profile applied and of course if it's a Zebra device it will be applied automatically. So let's head now to the fleet management part and the device list. I have a Zebra device here which is the TC26. I just make sure that the device receives the latest profile update. Here we go. So when you go now on the application logs, you should see a dedicated entry for the Zebra OEM config application. Best is to sort the table by date, just to make sure that 
you have the latest entry displayed because Zebra is specific in a way that it keeps um, track of all the modification you have made. I have made other tests before, so you can see them in the list, but for the setting I've modified, the most important one is the latest one here. And we can see that it was properly applied, so it shows success. If there would be an error, you could get more information by clicking on the show data link. One quick word about the Samsung integration that we have. When you go back in the profile, instead of opening, um, instead of adding, sorry, the Nox service plugin application and opening the manage config, you just have to click on the Nox tab here. And in this tab, we have directly embedded the Nox service plugin configuration. So from there, you are able to modify all the settings for your Samsung device. And at the same time, if you manage a Samsung device in the list, so let's take maybe as, as an example this one, you will see a dedicated tab here, which is the Nox logs tab. And if a config configuration is applied, you will see here the result of the configuration. As you can see, it's really easy to use OEM config and it really shows you the power of the Android Enterprise features like the managed configuration and the feedback channel. Here we go. So I guess that now you are an OEM config expert. I hope so. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And until the next video, I wish you a very good day. Bye bye.